While watching this video, you will learn the workflow for an implant bridge in the TRIOS application. Starting on the Patients page, click New Case. The order form will appear. Select the lab. If you have only one lab, this lab is automatically pre-selected. First, mark the teeth with implants. These teeth will now be highlighted in blue. Click on the Abutment tab, and then in the drop-down list, select Abutment or Screw Retained Crown. Then use the other drop-down lists to select Manufacturer, Implant System, Connection Type, and Restoration Material. You can do this for both implants at the same time or separately if you use two different implant systems. Now select the tooth for the pontic. In the Anatomy drop-down list, select Crown Pontic, then Pontic Material and Shade if necessary. Finally, make sure that you marked all the teeth comprising the bridge. Select Bridge Type on the Bridge Type drop-down list. When you scan implants, the Emergence Profile Scan is selected by default. A pre-preparation scan may also be added. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now proceed to the scan page. You will have four scans to do. Lower arch, upper arch with emergence profile, upper arch with scan bodies, and occlusion. Scan the opposing arch first. Follow the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Now proceed to the upper arch. First, scan the same area as in the lower arch with the healing caps in place. Then trim away the healing cap in the scan. Remove the first healing cap, dry the area and scan the emergence profile immediately before the gingiva collapses. Start scanning on the neighbouring teeth before moving on to scan the emergence profile. Then paint the area of the emergence profile using the lock tool. This will freeze the emergence profile in its current retracted state thus preventing it from being updated with later data when gingiva might have collapsed. Repeat this procedure for all implants. Make sure also to cover the contact points in the scan. Finally, mark the preparations. You will see a blue overlay around the preparation mark, indicating the area that will be automatically cut out when going to the scan body page. If necessary, you may reposition the prep mark to obtain your desired cutout. You may adjust the automatic cutout radius under Settings, Scan, or you may turn it off completely if you prefer to trim manually. Now proceed to the scan body page in the top workflow bar. First, make sure that all the healing cap has been trimmed away, as well as the nearby surroundings. Insert the scan bodies and start the scanner, pointing out the neighbouring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move to the scan body and circle around it to scan it from all angles. It is especially important to cover the upper third of the scan body, to make sure it is possible for the laboratory to recognise the correct position. If you have only one scan body, you may move it between the implants to scan them one by one. When the scan has been added, remove the scan bodies and scan the bite. Ask the patient to bite firmly and scan until both scans snap into position and the jaws are aligned. The scan should cover at least three to four teeth for a perfect alignment, even if the scans snap together earlier. Switch to the Analyze page 
to confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw. Add some comments or take a shade measurement. Finally, switch to the send page. After verifying the order, press the send button. Now you know the workflow for an implant bridge. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.